Hello friends, welcome to this channel. For today's session, we will learn about the select item activity from the UI path. And now we will read some description from the documentation of the UI path. So it says that select item activity selects an item from a combo box or a list box. After you indicate the element on screen, the list with all the available options is displayed in the activity. So there is also an important note uh, which we will read further but before that we will use the select item and hence try to learn how it works so for that we will open up our ui path and create one process i have created one process with the name working with drop downs and we will create one sequence so we will drag and drop our sequence into the drop activity here section or in the workflow section in this sequence, we will open browser uh, to open the specified URL and I have noted down one URL in which we can get the demo of the drop down menu. So let me first show you what that uh, URL looks like. So it looks like this asking the user to select its country from the drop down list. So it has uh, n number of countries in its drop down list now we will open this browser from the ui path with the open browser activity and entering that url here and we will try to open this up using ui path So the site is getting opened, but in the Internet Explorer because by default open browser works with Internet Explorer. And if you want to change that, you need to choose the browser type from the drop down as Chrome and save it. Now try to run it. And we are here with the URL having the drop down demo. Now we will select the item, drag and drop into the do section. Now select item. If we indicate the element inside the browser, what it will do, as we have read in the documentation, it will list. The, all the available options in the activity so we will indicate first I need to open that yeah now indicate element in the browser and we will select this and eventually it has loaded the first available data that is Afghanistan. Now let's say I want to select India and then try to run this automation. You will see that uh, this URL is loaded and the name has changed from Afghanistan to India on its own. So select item is working very perfectly It uh, with the indicated item on the drop down. It is selecting the data, whichever it sees or the first data. And eventually we can choose the data whichever we want to select. Now, uh, there was one disclaimer in the document section or important note in the document section which state that using this activity on a combo box or a list box that has not been interacted with before you run this workflow can cause the activity to throw an error the best practice to avoid this issue is to add a click activity configure to click the target drop down menu before the select item activity so what it says that sometimes it happens that the select item doesn't select the data that we have provided in here 
like India, it doesn't select that. But uh, the specified URL is doing so. Like some URL doesn't. For that, what we can do, we can add the click activity before the select item activity indicate the element inside the browser of that. And eventually what it will do, it will open up all the drop down uh, data and select the specified data which we have given in the select item. So it gets easier for that automation task to perform with more ease without any errors. So now we will see our automation process again. Let's see what happens. So the bot is opening the URL and it has opened the drop down list and eventually the name has been changed from Afghanistan to India on its own. So this is uh, the use of select item activity. So that's all for today's session. Hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.